Yeah, don't chew it. No, don't, don't, don't chew it. No.
Of the Lusitano? Yeah. Okay. Good in the walk. Good in the neck. Just let, yeah, so rather than grab his face there, keep your rein and just press him back in. See if you can't use the body of the horse to get him to come back into the bit. Just, just, just wait so it's not a rush. So I saw, you don't want to increase tempo. Okay. You just want to elongate him back into the bit. Yes, then you can round there as he's in the bit. Yes, and then walk with just a little. Good. And then you can round a little because he's pretty much in the bit. Yes, good. It's little touches that are up. Uh, it, so now your leg and keep your rein. And keep your hands a little bit up. They don't have to be too, yeah, because you want not to pull on the bars of the mouth. You want it to just be in the cheek. Yes, good. All right, let's take it to trot. Okay, so let's deal with that. Press into the bridle. Good, yep, and now try to trot, yep, press into the bridle. Yep, keep rounding on the right. Yes, good. 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 Good, so switch your posting diagonal. And let's bring him a little bit with a little more impulsion, a little more energy. Good. And now, now a little bit more connection. So now is where we're going to try to engage with him physically and mentally. So that's, that's nice, but now let's really go for more connection. Good, yeah, easy. So you have to be very careful that when you add energy that he doesn't get forced up against the bit in which case then he can't do anything but throw his head up. So, yes, but your hand has to be up a little bit. And the rounding separate so you can push in. The hand is light. Yeah, push in, the hand is light. Yes, and again, and up a little bit. When he's disconnected, yes, push in and then round a bit. And pick up the energy again. And then come on the 20 meter circle. 20 or 20? 20 meter. 20. 20, okay. Okay, and so starting at C. So now we add a little bit of bend, but you're bringing the shoulder around. So the rib cage does it bends, but the forehand comes, the, the, yes, the horse brings his neck to the right and brings his shoulders slightly to the right so that he doesn't have his left front leg sitting outside of the circle. Yes, good. Yes, good, and more. Good. And then go straight ahead. So that's pretty good, huh? This time I hit like a, a millimeter better. It's <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's like it's like That's all right. Oh, Good. And again, circle. Yes. 
Yeah, so you kind of see that coming. So when you sense that that might be coming, or you want to bend, you have to connect, it, feel for your connection in front. That's a bit of finesse. So bend the rib cage. Yeah, so there, yeah, bend the rib cage. It, yeah, have your leg really explain the bend in the rib cage. Yeah, the bend in the rib cage. Yeah, yeah, so that can't be halfway. That has to be a bend. Bend in the rib cage again. So your leg bends. Bend in the rib cage. Good, good, bend. Yes, till you feel the float to his back differently. Yes. Yes, now bring the forehand to the right, but keep the rib cage out to your left leg. Good, and now feel for both sides of the horse. Yes, come, into both reins. Yeah, a little bit more energy and then a little more bend. So it, you just lose the pieces, so keep the energy. Bring, bring the, the horse to the right. Bend the rib cage, but you can't lose the energy. Yes, bring, yes, and bring the forehand. Ride a little bit more. Get what you need. Good, good, yes, and go straight ahead. Now, as slightly into the contact and round tail. Good. And then at A, transition to walk. Good. And long range. Yeah, I feel, I feel like this is about the best so far. Good. So in part, it's about doing it until you get it, you know. Right. And try to, you know, and I can really see with Lizzie and Tim, like it, it some, sometimes what we're feeling like if I'm going, you're asking me to go forward, it would be feeling chaotic because I'm so used to keeping side, you know, not on his forehand. But I can see that it's not forward enough. You know, I can really see it. Yeah, you can see it when you look at it. So I've been really trying, you know, my. My goal kind of for each ride is into two reins, you know, into two reins, into yeah. contact, and even contact on both sides, not even the even round after even contact. Yes, right. Forward, you can see it. Yes, yes, because you can, you can, you can see what the, um, but you can see that the side is a an exception. And that's why it doesn't translate to the other horse. No, it doesn't. It really, it really doesn't. <laughs> and I mean, it's a good thing to have runners right. and spells if right. I ever if, yes. might need to ride a horse like that again. But yes, but it isn't. Um, it is it's, as unusual. No. So let's go across the diagonal. And at A, pick him up. Wait, wait, wait. So go through this. Yes. The rounding will be less down and sideways. It's going to be up and round a little bit in front of you. So that the walk can stay the same. Yes, and let the neck keep moving and bring the walk through. Yeah, don't bump him, just squeeze him. Yeah, so that's a better walk. But now with the hands a little bit above the mane to 
just round that. Just round it even there. Yeah, but don't take it down. Circle. And, and, and connect them up there when he does that. Just connect them. Just connect them. Connect them. Connect. Connect. Yeah, make him take two rings. So if he has to take the contact up there, it, it's not going to be, it's not a, it, 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 it ceases to be an objection. And, and, and hand forward though, so that it doesn't, it isn't a constriction. Um, just come here for a second. So the, the snap a bit seems to be pulled through. So again, all the more reason to be like really stable in this yeah. bit. Bending. Bending. Okay. Yep. Okay, good. And we've worked, if he stays in a little bit, before she does any transition, if she stays in the um, shoulder four, okay. then she doesn't brace that much. Okay, then good. she has control of the thing. Okay, good. Good. And then keep the hands up a little bit and round the pole and jaw. Tuesdays and Wednesdays for that. Okay. And tomorrow and you go with the for the okay. okay. Yes. Good. And now a li little bit check the rounding so that he doesn't go up against you. Yes. You have to check for that. Yep. Yes. And round that again. Yes. And now go to trot. And it should be that you can round and go to the trot at the same time. Yeah, keep rounding while you go to trot. Yep, keep rounding. Yes, good. 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 Okay, that's good. Now let's put that more forward. Okay, Emma has a so much problems that doctor related stress and depression. Oh, dear. And my baby could be. She won't be. It's too bad because she's coming right. Well, she's coming. She's coming. Oh, she's coming. coming. But she will come at right every day. She's oh, rather than coming. Then Piper. Okay. Good. 20 meter circle. Good. 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 With your hand ready to go forward and still, yes, then, yes, then get him a little more in front of your leg. Come, yep, good, yep, keep him come, coming a little bit more in front of your leg. Who else do you have? Uh, this time, with the summer. And what time is that now? Uh, 5.30. Okay, so it's about that age. Yeah, but it's seven. Right. Good, and push in a little bit more and then soften. And the reins can feel for your horse through the neck. So you can, again, you want to have your body and your mind connecting to his body and his mind. So the reins through the sides of the neck are very good information to him and to you. So a little bit the base of the neck uh, going left. So bend the rib cage just a little. and bring the shoulder forward. So you have to be careful that you're not bending the shoulders. So bring the shoulders even with left bend and just manage the rib cage out on the circle. The baby's exhausted. Aww. I get down here and I'm like, <laughs> oh, she's a riot, but oh my God, she'll, she'll, she'll take a nap while I stop her. Good. Better. Go straight. Yes. Can you feel it coming? Yes. Yeah. Good. And then however much go is kind of up to you. You don't want to lose what you have. Good. And
then, and then, yeah, so work that out, that he's a little bit too up, too high, but connect him. Good, and round him. And now on the circle again, because we need to move the rib cage. Shoulder four. Bring the shoulder. Bring the shoulder. So the shoulder is the furthest part of the horse out. Yes, you want the rib. Yeah, bring the shoulder back to the left and open left rein a little. Doesn't matter. You want the rib cage out. That's good. Yeah, bring the shoulder forward. You want the rib cage out. Yes, 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 yes. Push it through there. Push it through there. Come again. And bring the rib cage again. I mean, bring the shoulders again. Yep, good. This is tricky. Come on, bring it. Yeah, don't let your left hand dangle around. Stay connected. Stay connected in your elastic seat. Think shoulder in on the circle. Don't let them squeak out to right. Go down the long side so you can really feel what's happening. Shoulder in. Yeah, not him squeaking out the right. So he shouldn't. Yes, better. Good. Try it again. Facing the way. Mm -hmm. Good. Rounding. Now just a little bit the shoulders. And bend left. But don't throw your rein away. Give right a little. Yeah, you got to work it out there. Work it out. That's better. So you can see when he made that drift in, he actually got straighter. Yep. So let's do it again. More even in the bridle he got. Good. Good. Bring the shoulder. So he has to get into shoulder in position. You have to bring the shoulder more. Yes, left rein, left rein, left rein, so he doesn't tilt. Yes, left rein, left rein, left rein, so he doesn't tilt. Left rein and right rein, so you have to use them both. And you have to keep your seat elastic and swing them through. So there's, it's multitasking, huh? Good. Yeah, so one main aid is not good enough. It is a combination. Yep, so he can't come off the track. That's your left leg. Good, but bring shoulder in. Left rein, no, no tilting, no tilting. Yes, no tilting, keep left rein. Yes, keep them, keep them better, better at a transition to walk. I'm struggling. Yeah. With, it's like I'm, I'm not getting the shoulder in, I'm getting it just popping out. Like I feel like I'm not, I'm trying to focus on, you know, the back leg, but I, I feel like I'm just really not moving the shoulder. The shoulder so what, when you say out. I'm focusing on the back leg, what are you focusing on back there? Well, just just what, making his, his back leg step under. His back leg has to step under. And you felt you needed special focus on that? Well, rather than focusing on his front end, or the... Or but the but then you say end. that the front end's not coming in, so you're gonna have to focus on the front end. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if the front end is not doing what you asked it to do, you have, you can't fix it with the back end. Okay. Yeah, you can fix forwardness, but you can't fr fix bringing the shoulder off. You could use your right leg to help bring the shoulder off, but you are addressing the front end. Okay. So let's go with it thinking that we're actually riding the front end. Okay. Trend in. So focusing on the front, right here at walk. Bring the front end to the left. 
with the right rein and the left hand opening. Yes, bring the front in. Make a tiny circle with the front in. Tiny circle. The hind end takes a bigger circle. Tiny circle. Tiny, tiny, both front legs. Both front legs, good. yep, good. Both front legs, yep, good. Now come out and go on the long side. Walking or trying? Walking. Good. So now both shoulders, no matter what else, have to come to the left. You have to stay on the track. That's the one thing you have, yes. Yes, both shoulders, both shoulders, they're going back. Yes, yes. Both shoulders. Yeah, you can't let go. And again, on the next long side. Now, both shoulders to the left. More. More. Good. Now left ah, left rein to the left when he wants to tilt. Yes, left rein to the left when he wants to tilt. Left rein to the left. To the left. He's tilting. Yeah, keep it to the left. Better. Good. Good. Now don't let the right shoulder go out when you take your left hand. So you have you bring the left hand in, but not so much that it for forces the right shoulder. Okay. So every aid you have has a positive effect and a negative effect. You have to get to the point of the positive effect, do not overdo it to have a negative effect. Yes, you must stay in the track. Until the end, that was better. Let's try it at cross. Monday, Thursday, Friday. Did you just need more money? Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, bring the left hand is all. So you've got the shoulder. Yes, yes, and the haunches are okay. Good. You got to bring the nose left without it pushing the horse out. Do it again. Get the shoulder. I don't even care about the nose yet. Look, see. Let's try again. So you wouldn't want a leg yield back. I would just go straight. Okay. Now really definitely bring the shoulders and neck. Bring the whole straight neck. Yes, now take the left hand to the left without pulling back. Left hand to the left. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, better. Good. And let me see it again. Make sure you keep the shoulder in. Keep it in. Yes, keep it in. Left hand to the left. Keep it in. Keep it in. Don't raise your left hand. Again. Bring him in, left hand to the left, yes, yes. Bring him in, don't let him tilt. Yes, yes, come on, yes, right rein in. Yes, yes, and walking. Okay, so that was the closest there. Yeah. So. Yeah, I didn't have the shoulder going out, so that's good. Then I no, had to, I that's right, I had to you gotta move the shoulder. Yeah. It's very direct that the shoulder wasn't coming, the shoulder has to come in shoulder in, or in shoulder four, or in spiral in, mm -hmm. or in pirouette, or in half pass. I mean, it's pretty important that you have control of the shoulders. All right, let's, did we do the other way? No, we haven't done it. All right, let's do the other way.
to do it at walk on the long side where it gives you a better feel because the wall is there. So, yes, bring the shoulders. Make sure you can control the shoulders. First the shoulders, then the nose. Yes. Yes, bring the shoulders, move the nose in. It's going to be the same thing. Yep, now, and when you do, watch that your inside leg does not push the horse to the left. Okay. It must push the horse forward to the right. Yes, nose, nose, no, yes, yes. Nose. Yes. Yes. All right. Straighten it. Let's take it to trot. Shoulder in right. Yes. The nose, the nose, you don't want it to be round there. Bring the shoulders, a little more, a little more. So be definite with where you want it. So you're a little bit unclear, and so he's a little bit wandering. So you be definite. I want the shoulders right here. I want the rib cage right here. Yeah, right here. I want the hind legs, but right here. Excuse me, pony, but you're on the boss here. Yes, yes. Yes, very good. That was actually four tracks. You don't need it that far. Try it again. Three tracks. Bring the shoulders. Yes. Bend. And then flex to the right. Yes. And bring the shoulders. Bend the rib cage. The haunches have to stay straighter. So the haunches are on too much of a diagonal. That has not been a problem until now. But that's because you have so much the shoulders. Right rein. Right rein. Yes. 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 It's too much angle. Yes. Up, up. Not enough angle. Because you're doing it. you got to yeah. be doing it. You yeah. Doesn't, not two strides of this and then two strides of something else. Good. Now shoulder in at trot, and you fight for it. You get it. You get it right the whole way. Left leg back. Yes. Yes. Good. At a transition to walk. Much better. Good. So that's what it is. It's the it's the continuing to get what it is you want. Because I know that right now you're not sure what you want in the sense that you don't have it all clear in your mind that, oh, right there is right. But he doesn't have it in his mind at all. So he has no idea where right is. Okay. As far as he's concerned, uh, he doesn't know if you're doing round bear, trout bear. He, he has no idea what your expectation is of him at any given moment. Yeah, it helps a lot bringing my arm up around um, and making sure I get him right. I don't, you know, so that was good. What? I, that was, it was helping me a lot to, to bring your arms yeah. from being too long, down and low. Yeah. Yes, and exactly. And then also, and then also. Yes. And that's what well, allowed me his nose down. That allowed you to do it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And long range, let him stretch his back. But when it when it is right, I mean, he feels like he yes, he has like his cadence and everything. Yeah, and he's you know real. Yes, he's real buoyant. And you feel him, right? Yeah. Don't always, not always being there. I think there. But 
but it's interesting. Um, and, you know, when you look at the horses, this horse is built properly. Yes. Is he the biggest mover? No, but when you have him right, then the cadence comes. Yes. Um, but the hind legs and the, the relationship between the hind legs and the middle and the front legs and the neck and the head are correct. Yeah, and he's got a really nice yes. back and coupling. <laughs> yes. So, because I know you watch him a lot. Yeah. He's a good, the uh, uh, Rizzi is also built proportionately correctly. He's just very big and it is not going to be as pretty a ride mm -hmm. unless you are a man that is six foot two and weighs 190 pounds. That the bigger horse I mean, you can just think, I mean, just think it's obvious. Wh how much age can you put on this one versus that one? Yeah. How much lift and cadence can you get out of this one? You can get it out of that one, but it is good to that butt. Now he's a bit lazy too, so that doesn't help, but. But it looks nice, but it's limited in the sense that you could get on this horse, get it, and be shoulder and traver, half pass, um, Extension, kind of pirouette. You know, the other ones are you're going to struggle with. So, just be careful of the size of the horse. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. You're not looking at. I know you don't are not looking for a horse that's big, but yeah. don't even get too attracted to them. Yeah. <laughs> because you get them home and it's like, oh, why did I buy this? Whereas you want to get on and say, uh oh, this is exactly what I was looking for. Even if it doesn't do, I mean, like, like the Marante horse, he's, he's bigger than Parada, clearly, but he's not big. Um, and, he's tall. Oh, he's, not, he's not over 16. You think he's, I think he's bigger than 16. No, yeah. no. He's not bigger than Cartero. Uh -uh. No? Uh -uh. no? Is Cartero 16 years? Yep. They look bigger because of their necks and because of their, they lift themselves way up in the air, those two do. Mm -hmm. um, but his stall is a little bit higher. And Marante's stall is higher. Mm -hmm. Marante's oh. stall. <laughs> so if you happen to look at him in the stall, he looks really big. Um, but he's broader. Yeah. So he's got a back that's big. His neck is very up, very up. So it comes way up. As a matter of fact, it's too up. It, I mean, it's not, it looks, he looks like a Grand Prix horse. Yes, it that. needs to not be, he doesn't put it in the right place yet. Uh -huh. He has to be put where, because his neck is up, but his back is not, it, it, it's not correct yet. Mm -hmm. He has to put his head lower here and let his back do it and let his hind legs come under because if he lifts up, which he does, Hello, here I am. His back, it, it, it's just, it's, well, it doesn't even go hollow. It just isn't gymnastically as good as it will be. And he's got a lot of motion, so it looks nice. Mm -hmm. But it is not the way, he cannot stay up there and train in the, up that high. It just will never develop enough strength between the back end and the front end. You have to develop that bridge with the head a little bit lower. But no, he's not that, that tall. I mean, and in a Spanish horse, it all depends, like I say, on where you measure them. Mm -hmm. Because their necks do come up, you can like slide way up here, right. or you can go way down here. They can be any height. Anyway, let's let's can carry on with him. Okay. Now what? Okay, what what now? <laughs> Good idea. Let's see. What do we want to do now? You want to canter? Sure. All right. Okay, so good time to do it. It's okay. Can I do it from trot or walk? Yeah, no, from trot. So, so get 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 a better walk. Get the roundness that you want. Yeah, don't be in a hurry. Get the connection. Be with. So that walk is a lot better than what you had there before R. Yeah. Yes, this is a horse now who's had a chance to connect to you. 
even if he disconnects like that, or if you disconnect for some reason, take the time to get this right. Yes, and now go to try. And yes, okay, and now work that a little bit. Yeah, so you don't give way. Yes, but you open up room for him to go forward to try. But you don't give way. Because what he wants to do there is just use his neck to get the trot because it's so much easier. Why wouldn't a horse toss their head if you allowed it? Good, yes. And now you're gonna keep softly, keep softly. Is that cool? Yeah, come on in. Hi. Good, now go to trot. Round. Yes, better. That's okay, just round it again. Good. Now, a little bit in front of you, and the reins stay up and forward. Yes, you're feeling better trot already. Yes. Yes, now, it, yes, and then, you, and, and get it again forward. Step, 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 step. Softly, softly rounding. It doesn't, it doesn't force it. Yes, come, circle. Let's just get this again. So you gotta go back to shoulder four and rib cage softening. Yes, but shoulders, four, shoulders to the inside. You make the shoulder go where you want it to. Yes, that's all right. That's a little overdone, but I don't mind because that's what we're working on. Yeah, do it again. Do that again. And yeah, that's okay, you got it. Yes, 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 do it again. That's more important than anything. You play with that till you get that. Yes. Yes, bring that shoulder. Yes, good. Now find a way to come back. Uh, just go straight because the other horse is in the corner. But get the same quality. Good, circle down there. Yes, bring that shoulder, bring that shoulder. Then the rib cage, bring the shoulder. Yeah, right hand to the right. So you're, yeah, you gotta bring it with, yeah, now don't jump. So do that smoothly though. So you can't just. Come in. Hi. Hi, you wanna get? Ebony, yep. Okay. Good. Good, yes, good. Yeah, bring the shoulder again as he drips back through it. Yes, yes, good. All right, now on the circle. Do that again. Yeah, bring that right rein. Yeah, a little more forward. And now canter. Good, same idea. Yes, yes. That's all right, I don't care. Good. Yeah, so get organized that you, you, your hands don't move too far. Okay. You can open him without it moving him so far. Yep, down and round. Good, go to try. Good, good. Not that he drifts out, that he turns in. Turns in, yep, just play with that, turns in. Good, 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 swing. Yeah, careful that your right hand doesn't go, whoa, over here, whoa, back here. Smooth, push through, though you don't have a horse coming through your reins. Push through your reins. Push through your reins. It's all right, it's all right. Good, push through your reins. Yes, push through. So don't grab suddenly that stops him. Good, right hand soft in the forearm and canter right. Go anyway. Good, good, just keep the canter. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's all right, and now open the right rein. Not suddenly and so far. Okay. Open the right nose smoothly. Good, good, good. Good. Yes. Yes, that's okay. It's okay. 
And then just find your right vein in a little bit more of a stable spot. Yes, yes. So think bending to the right. Yeah, softly. Yeah, just keep it soft, push through, and give left a little encanter. Better, good, keep the canter. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Soft in the rain, good, and back to trot. That's all right, that's all right. And now just work this piece again. Bring shoulder four, yes, it's better. Yeah, so get your seat. So so you get, you get disrupted by him, and you must be the one that says, no, one, two, one, two, one, two. Here's my range. Here's my here's here's where your shoulder belongs. Mm -hmm. So don't let the disruption on I, I know it's not unseating you dramatically, but it is stopping your rhythm. Yeah. So now yeah, get the walk rhythm. So you gotta this is where you have to ride the back end of the horse in the rhythm and trotting. Good, yep, and now bring shoulder four. All right, let's do a different exercise. Stay in shoulder four, and then I want you to stretch him. Just a little bit. Good, so let's trot. Yeah, and trot. So get the walk, though, first. Get the walk. Let's just go dial back a step. Yeah, so rounding in the walk. In a soft way that the hands don't pull back. Rounding, rounding, bring shoulder four, bend the rib cage in a soft way. So he can't, he can't, he literally cannot bend and soften quickly. Good, it has to be smooth as he's walking. There you go. That's better. And now trotting. Yes, keep, keep control of the neck. Yes, and trotting. Good. Yeah, now just yeah, keep control of the neck. Yes, good. You're, you're just in a regular circle, so you don't need to bring the nose too far in. Just a little. Good, but it has to be stable and stable seat. Two, one, 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 two. Don't let the rhythms change. Don't let the rhythm change. Don't let the rhythm change. Don't let the rhythm change. Post. Good, don't let the rhythm change. Yes, good, good, don't let the rhythm change. Swing, swing, good, good, keep your rhythm. Good, yes, better, better, good, good. Now, a little bit of the arc to the right. Just think arc. Yes, and stretch. And stretch. Yes, think arc in the neck, in the rib cage. But bring shoulder four. Yes, bring that rib cage. That's better. Yes, it's a more, it's a it's where he does need to supple because they don't really need to be supple at the shoulder. They're really supple. Keep right, yeah, soft. So keep the right rein connected. Feel his mouth and don't let go, don't let go. Whether you move your hand in or out, don't let go. Don't let go, don't let go. In or out, doesn't matter. Don't let go, don't let go. Don't let go, don't let go. Push him in, don't let go, push him in. Don't let go, don't let go, don't let go, don't let go, don't let go. Yes, yes, don't let go. Don't let go of him. Don't let go of your right rein. Don't let go. Don't, 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 don't push. Yes, don't let go. Don't let go of left or right. Don't let go, but don't take back. Push him through, but don't let go. Don't let go. Don't, come on, push him through. Yes, don't let go. Yes, don't let go, push him through. Don't pull back, but don't, just don't let go. Yes, 
push him into it. Don't let go. Yes. 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 Yes, Nancy. Okay, let him walk. So that's key, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I you, can feel that. Yes. So it, it's, the, it's the rhythm and it's the connection. Yes. Um, and it's that you, you do not take the rein back so you hold more. Uh -huh. And you can move it here or there, but what you can't, but but you can't let it go loose yeah. because it all of a sudden drops in their mouths and they go, oh, whoa. Yeah. So that that's very key. That's a very good element. If you have anything to take away from today, <laughs> that's, that's it. Is do not let that's go cool. of the contact. That was that was very nice. Yeah. Well, and then and then also just especially. Yes. That's where I lose, that's where I lose it all the time. I and then know. he's like uh, under, not sure, you lose right. your connection with him. Right. So then he doesn't know what he's supposed to do with that side of his body. Yeah. You know, because all of a sudden, uh, or, you, you well, like yeah. disconnect him. Absolutely. Uh, uh, uh. Hi, Sarah. Hello. All right. Thanks, Nancy. Yeah, very good, Nancy. I put his <laughs> I put his halter hanging on one of the ones on the cross tie right here. It's hanging right next to it. I don't want you to get all the way down there and wonder where it is. I just thought the cross ties would be open. Okay, Francina, now come a little bit more forward. Hey. Good, come into the vinyl. Come on. Good, watch that your shoulder blades stay back. Yep, a little bit rounding. Yes, but watch that you're not pulling down and back. Just put your hands together. Yes, and then in, the, in a soft, way, just soften the sides of her mouth in a super soft way without backwards pressure, even if it takes a minute longer. 20 meter circle right here. Yeah, good. Yeah, doesn't matter. Put your hands up and together. Yes, good. And right together so, so that I don't get the sense that you're pulling on her face. Yes. Yes, now just straighten the left. Good, hands up and together. Oh. Yep, and flex left. So count your bend. Yeah, and, and, and bend and soften. And count your bend again. Count your bend. Count your bend left. So stay counter bend, huh? Don't, don't change it until I say. Good, yep, good. Count your bend, yes. And now straight on the circle. And not the hands pulling down on the bars of her mouth. Yeah, let her keep going. Let her try. And now flex left. Make this easier. Not like you've got this mission in the mouth. Okay, let her swing. Let her swing. Yes, hands are forward. Hands are forward. Yes, and flex left. In such a nice way. And then, and then, and then, and then. Yes, good. But don't hold so long. Just flex. Yeah, make it nice in the mouth. And flex left. Good. Good. And then straighten. And then flex left again. And then straighten again. And flex left again. I what I what I would like her to, to see her not do is fuss with you. Okay, so flex left. Yes. 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 Don't pull because all of a sudden she's slowed down. Yes, good. Do it again. Do it again. It's having to live a little bit out of uh, sensing that you might not have as much control, but right. that's okay because right. she's going to resist that level of, of pull, holding because she doesn't see how she's going to go forward. Good. It's all right. Good. Good. And now think that you're going to stretch her. Yes. But don't go wide. Just a little, you know. Yeah, good. 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 And let her swing. Hands together now. 
Not stretching, but in a position that is a little more relaxed. Good, good. Now stretch for a stride. And now put your hands back together. Yes, there, better. Don't start to pull. You don't even really have to turn that much. Just turn her with your, your shoulders a bit. Yes, nicer. Good. Yep, and flex left, just a soft one. And then back to the right, and then stretch. Yes, and then flex to the left. Good, 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 good. And then walking. So if you don't lunge, you have to have a warm up that isn't quite as high in the pole. That's not quite as high. As high in the pole. That is high in the pole. No, that is not as high. It's more like this. Yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's in my colon. But it's respectable, so. I'm gonna, I go through my colon for some of my clients. Oh, wow. And uh, those are females now, and all that happy stuff. Huh? Oh, well. Wow. Wow. Here. Onward and upward. Take these. Wear these. Wear those for your hands. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I can. That's all right. I can always go out in the car and get my hot coffee out of that here. <laughs> oh, you should do that anyway. Okay, Francina, let's begin again. You sound like you got a cold. I just always sound like this. Oh. I mean, it's from being outside all day. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's winter time. So, walking. So, let, let her move in the beginning. Again, remember. You just have to let her warm up her warm up just a little. So just walking a little bit. Good. And hands forward. And then let's go to trot. Tina, we'll just have you go down to the other end while all these people are trying to mount. You want me to hold them? Why do you think you're... Good. And circle at A. There you go. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? Here's a big daddy How are you doing? Good boy, aren't you? Put your shoulder blades back. You're so, aren't you? No, three months. And, and let your hands come up and not pull down when she goes up. Just softly squeeze and release. That's better. Good, Francina. Just softly squeeze. Yep, and round. Yep, it's okay. Yep. And supple, just the jaw. Just the jaw. Yep, until you get some effect. Yes, and then stretch. No, leave it there because... Another one. Oh, okay. Yeah, chair is like me. We're vertically challenged, so we. Oh no, you're fine. <laughs> right? I will always use a mounting block. Yeah. That will always happen, or a fence. Good, and yes. then hands come together, and soft. Let her, let her be. We're and saying Emma, Emma's getting tall enough. Where all she has to do is flip her leg up over yeah. Ebony. Yeah, she is. <laughs> I've got a pony and I'll never be able to do that. All right, pop, 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 pop. Oh, I guess I can. Hey, do not do that. Hey, um, let's move out of in front of all the people. Yep. Hey. Hey. Can I 
square when you did it Tuesday. You did quite well. He's Betty. She ride her pretty horse. Good. So we just work with that a little bit until she's a little bit more relaxed in her top line. Good. And then let and then feel like she could stretch. In the we're looking for the relaxation, not really lowering. I just and now flex again and not not so low. Yes. And then just a moment of release for the relaxation. Okay. It's coming. Take some time. It's a little bit the same thing on the pony. Round, soften, and give. Yes, that's better. Shoulder blades back. Yes, better. Then her pull can be upwards now because, she, yes, good, with the inside rake. Yes, you don't actually have to lift it. You're just not going to ask it to go quite as low. Very nice on Valencia. Yes, very good. At that end, 20 meter circle. It's going to be a bit challenging with all three, but we can do it. But watch that you don't hang on to her. Yes, better, Francina. Flex and soften. Flex, but pull is up now. Yes, 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 and flex and soften. Yes, do you feel? Yeah. Super nice, even if she's a little bit leaning on the left leg. I don't mind at the moment. Yeah, and left, left rein into the neck without being backwards. Yeah, good. Good. Good, good, Kiara. Good. Yes, and, and, then, and then transition to walk on Valencia. So that's a better warm up for you and her. Yeah. Don't worry in the beginning that it isn't like so correct, you know, just okay. let it be touch, give, relax. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, touch, mm -hmm. give, relax, and then you get, you get to where you want to be sooner and she doesn't fight with you. Yes. Yes, that's what will happen. <laughs> so we want to, one of the things I was talking about with Nancy is the connection. When you get on the horse, you want to really connect with the horse mentally and physically. Right. So you have to remember they have a mind. And so like with Valencia, if you start with her in a way that makes her feel uh, constrained or claustrophobic uh -huh. she starts doing yeah she just starts offering some uh, just un unhappiness yeah but she's not totally happy uh -huh. and we know we want her to stay up in the pole but we you can use the offering it's a relaxation it's like okay that's good okay, okay that's good yeah and then she slows and she softens uh -huh. and then we have a better chance of getting her in the right place yeah. it's quite good all right, let's have both riders go back out. I know you got to just watch out for a little Emma on. Do we stay in the same direction? Yeah, let's all stay in the same direction. That will help. Yeah, we're going whatever way you are going. Because we can adjust. And then when you round him, um, Kara, you want to think a little bit his weight stays back. And that's the same thing with uh, Valencia. Now we want their weight to shift a little bit to the back end. Just be careful by us down here. Yes, and so you can you can halt and round. That's, that's not a totally bad exercise. Good, and then soften though, so there's not a, a pull feel to your reins. And yeah, a little bit rounder at walk for Valencia. Yes, good. And then let go a little bit, Kiara. And bend the neck slightly. Remember your communication comes through your seat, your leg, and your hand. And the hand can also come through the neck. 
not just the mouth. When you are ready, let's trot. Oh, okay, so just yeah, make it a little bit softer in the fir in the first try. Yeah, let it be soft, Kiara. Give and trot. So you balance back, but then you must give. Yeah, give. That was better. Good. Then just go ahead and get your trot going. So watch that your hands don't start to feel tense. Or your forearms, Francina. Your shoulders, yes. Keep your shoulders. Hold her with your shoulder. That will definitely, that's right. So that totally different horse when you do it. Shoulder blade, soft forearm. Yes, you can have reins that move around, but your shoulders stay stable. Good, Kiara. It's with the shoulders, then your hands have freedom to do whatever you need. You can flex, you can balance, 